So, the thing we wanted to look at was this trail here. Uh, the trail at the moment seems a little bit, um, uh, doesn't seem too good. Uh, I have a simple particle here. Um, this is just a basic material with the, uh, which has a little bit of a softer edge to the texture. Okay, that might be okay. Um, I think we're going to have to make this a little bit bigger though, it just doesn't look quite right I think. Uh, let's try 0 0.9. The starting size of that of that sort of rainbow trail. Uh, I think we want to make that a little bit larger. Okay. Okay. I think you know. I think the best thing is we're gonna have to try this out on the on the device and then see how it goes. Uh, I'm just gonna play through the scene once to make sure that that becomes the uh, the one that appears on on the device just restart the game play yeah, okay so I think um, I think that's okay I think the next thing is we just really need to, to build this and test it and see how it looks so saving the project and saving the uh, saving the scene as usual uh, clicking command and B or command and uh, or con uh, sorry control and B to build it and I'm also going to remove Superbug off the uh, off the iPod so that we start with a clean install. Uh, and part of the reason of that is because we want to see uh, we want to see the game with ads in it as well, so that we can see the frame rate and if it's been affected or if it drops too low. Uh, because that's obviously this obviously concern is a smooth gameplay. Uh, if we put something in and it runs real smooth, but then we didn't test it with ads, and then the ads pop up, and all of a sudden, the frame rate drops down to like say 20 or something. Then that's a problem. So we really need to check and make sure that everything's running nice and smooth. So I'll just give this a second to build. And what I'll do, guys, is I'll just pause the video there for a moment so you're not watching this load, and I'll be back in just a second. Okay, um, I think we're back and we're now recording. I'm just going to double check. Okay, yeah, I think we're good. So, um, yeah, so there we can see the ads are now loaded in the game. Uh, they're popping up here in the top left. And we wanted to check that sword. Well, that's quite nice. Oh, well, that's... Uh, that feels really nice. Wow. I'm actually... Uh, wow, I'm kind of I'm happy about that. Uh, I'll try and I'll stop the game and then you guys can see it. Um, okay, so I just missed a fly. That's fine. I'll try to show you, but hopefully you guys are going to download this and check it out for yourselves. But there you can see that it's really smooth and that looks pretty good. Um, I'm actually kind of happy with that. I didn't think it would look that... It's a lot better than what I expected. Hopefully you guys can see this okay. Uh, but you can see there the trail going around. Uh, we've got the trail, and we've also got the um, uh, also the the particles as well, the sort of sparkle particles. So together, that looks pretty good. I'm just going to try this for a second, guys. And okay, uh, what we might have is the two the two uh, particles together, maybe. Uh, the, sorry, the two trails, the original trail, the default one, but also the sparkles as well. So, that's, uh, yeah, that's kind of cool. I'm pretty happy about that. That's, that's a, nice little, uh, a nice little feature to put in. Um, so, the other thing is, guys, whilst, whilst, I'm actually, uh, whilst I'm actually waiting here, what I'm quickly going to do is I'm going to get these screenshots for the, uh, uh, remember before when we entered the in-app purchase into iTunes, it said, oh, we need a screenshot. So I'm going to quickly do that here. I'm just tapping on the 5000 Bs one, uh, and I'm going to get a screenshot on my iPod so that we can upload that to the uh, to the iTunes Connect portal. So this is the one that pops up there. Confirm you're in at purchase, and all I do is tap the uh, the power button plus the 
what do we call this, the back or the exit button at the same time. It takes a screenshot, I'm just going to cancel that. Purchase cancelled, clicking on the 10,000 Bs now. There we go, the next one pops up. Okay, that's fine, cancel. And the last one, I'm just tapping on the 20,000 Bs here so that it pops up as well. And there we go, I'm taking a screenshot of that. So that, that just saves time later if we upload the game and then forget to, to do that. I've done it a few times and it's a bit of a pain, so I'll do that now. Uh, okay, so that's working pretty well. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a quick test of what we have in game as well. Is we have a, a rate me pop-up. So every three times the user plays, is it pops up saying, hey, uh, please rate the game if you like it or remind me later or don't ask me again. Uh, and that's a cool way to get ratings. Uh, we need to improve that a little bit, actually. The, the, the rating pop-up is just the default one, which is provided by our iOS. Uh, but I need to, do a, need to do something a little bit better, so I'm just checking that that's working at the moment. And I will do that. I'm just going to... Okay, that doesn't seem to be working very well. Okay, that's something that we need to fix then, of course. Because it seems to have gone to iTunes, but it's not actually gone to the to the game page. So that's something that we'll need to handle. Fine, we'll do that. Anyway, so let's just get back on track as to what we were doing before. Uh, I'm just going to quickly make a note of that as well. I'm going to write this down here, saying update uh, rate me link. Uh, check it works. Okay. I'm just going to close down Xcode as well. All right. So, uh, so what we want to do is basically for for what we've just seen here is we've we've added this firework trail, uh, which is like the line which follows uh, the, the player's input, and then these are the particles. These are the little light sparkles that you can see here, and it looks pretty good on the device. Um, it was pretty smooth running at like 50 or 60 frames a second even with ads, so that's that's great. So. What I need to do now is we need to set whether this is going to be true or false, depending on whether the player has unlocked it. So I'm going to click on the input button and double tap that. I'm going to reactivate this trail renderer. We might be able to have two at the same time, perhaps. Okay. All right, so this is the uh, input here. And what I'm going to do is just going to set two variables. I'm going to call this the default trail renderer. And this is a, what type of object would this be? I believe this would be a trail renderer. Uh, I think that's how it would be done. Sorry, I've not actually typed this in before in terms of like coding this, this before. So uh, this is a new one for me. And the other one is we want the uh, firework star trail renderer. And that is also a trail renderer. Uh -huh. okay. Alright, so this is the input and the trail renderer down here. Okay, I'm just going to set this as a game object, in fact, so I can just turn it on and off. Okay. Alright, so what we want to do is, um, when the player first starts the game, we want to check whether they've unlocked the Fireworks Star Trail Renderer or not. If they have unlocked it, then we want to show that one. If they haven't unlocked it, then we would just want to refer back to the default one. So we're going to do an if check, which is uh, inside of a wake here when the gate when the game scene first starts, and we're going to check the player prefs, which is uh, the data that is saved to the device, which is permanent data. It's not once you turn off the uh, the application of the game, it doesn't get erased. So we're going to get player prefs. We're going to get an integer, and the name of the integer we're going to call it player has unlocked star trail sword if it equals to one i.e. it's true then we are going to do uh, we're going to set some values here so we're going to say the default trail renderer 
dot. I think I think it would be active, I believe, or enabled. We're gonna have to try this one and test it out. And we're gonna set this one uh, dot set up recursively to true. Else, both of those are gonna be false. I'll quickly explain this code in a moment to give you a little bit more clarity on it. Um, I think definitely for the for the guys who are watching this who are fairly new to game development, that will this might appear a little bit confusing. Uh, okay, so I'm just going to make a note here. So uh, show the uh, firework star trail sword if the player has unlocked it. Okay. So what we're saying is, if the player uh, player has not the Star Trail Sword, if that's set to true, and we've not coded this yet, but we'll do it shortly, if it's true, then the default trail renderer um, will be false because we're not looking at the we don't want the default trail that appears. We want the firework one, uh, and in this case, we're setting it to to true. Okay. Um, else, the default trail renderer, uh, if if they haven't unlocked it here, if this is zero. Then we want to set the default one to true and turn the other one off to false. And we need a way just to test that. So I'm going to quickly put in a value here uh, to to test it. So uh, da, da, da. Uh, player has unlocked a firework star sword. Extends boolean equals false and I'm just trying to figure out a way to do this uh, da, 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 da. okay I think uh, I'm gonna make sure I just say for testing because this is never this is only the, the value we're only going to change the value here for testing inside of the editor uh, so if that one equals to true Okay, so player. Uh, so actually, let's just unlock the. I'm just going to rename this a little so it's a little bit more clear. So unlock the fire sword star trail rest renderer. Blah, can't speak. Unlock the firework star sword for testing. Okay, copy, paste that. So if we set this to true inside of the editor, then we can actually see if this is working or not. I think that all should be fine. So if I go back to Unity. Bottom right, it'll check if there's any compilation errors. And if I click on the input here, on the AMX uh, uh, player input scripts, we should see this appear. Hopefully, fingers crossed. Yeah, there we go. So first thing is we want to get the default trail render, which is this one here. Uh, we're just going to drag that up there. And the second one is the firework star, uh, star trail renderer, which is this one here. And we're just going to drag it so it has the two values. And right now we're not unlocking it, we're just going to go for the default one. I've just tap play twice, I think. Okay. Okay, so that's the default one, that's just the yellow, yellowish orange one, which is fine. And if I go to input and then tap on this one here to make it true, the yellow one should disappear and the firework one should appear. There we go. And that's working well. That's working well. So I think um, I think as I press play, then I did just notice particle uh, effects that I'd left inside of the scene, uh, which would be this one here. This is this uh, the those when I first used those purple uh, particles from the uh, previous game. So I just want to delete those out. Okay, I'm going to click on file and save scene, save project. Just as a habit, as always. Double check it. That's fine. And turn this off again to make it false. And then it's back to normal. So that's great. So that's that's a really easy way to test. Is if you set a value here, then you can just check the uh, the checkbox to to test values. Uh, and that saves that can save a lot of time because if you load it onto a device like an Android or an iPhone, you have to go through the build process, and then um, you know it might take if you've got a large game, it could take a I don't know, 10, 20 minutes, and then you find out it doesn't work, and you have to come back to Unity. 
So this is an easy way to test it. Okay. So the next thing is, uh, I'm going to go back into the shop scene, and we've got to set up that ability for the player to actually unlock the uh, unlock the the sword. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to think carefully about how to do this. Okay. So what I might have is I might have this at the bottom here, so it's nice and clear, and it might just say unlock unlock the. Uh, uh, the firework sword or something like this, you know, what we've named it in, in the scene. Uh, when the player clicks on that, then they'll, uh, it will pop up with a box giving a code saying, oh, we please enter the code. If they enter the code, then it becomes unlocked. So I think that's uh, this is probably a good place to, to play it and we can actually have the, uh, the sort of uh, the particle effects like sparkles down here as well. So I'm going to cut the video there for a, for a few minutes, guys. I'm going to come back to this after I've figured out exactly what I'm going to do. Uh, and then I'm going to go through it and you guys can, can see how it's done as well. So anyway, for now, guys, uh, I will chat to you real soon and stay tuned for the next video. Bye.